What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Yellow walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, I showed you guys the in-game trades for Pokemon Yellow, and now it is time for us for our legendary hunt right here, and uh, man, am I dreading this. So, off screen, I went in and, you know, returned with all my team members right here because they're over level 50, so this actually will actually help us out right here. The other thing too, I sold quite a few things to actually get 50 Pokeballs. I do not know why, but Pokeballs seem to be the ones that work against these legendary Pokemon. Now, I did buy myself uh, quite a few Max Repels because I really, really don't want to mess with these Pokemon or anything like that. Now. In this episode, we're going to be going through Fuchsia City to the Seafoam Islands. It's pretty much the route that we wanted to, we should have taken if, uh, you know, we would have, like, went in and captured the Pokemon right there and then in-game and all that crud, or during the whole adventure. So, what we're going to do right now is we're going to go straight down, and uh, if you guys see us, you know, battling quite a few trainers in a speed version, it's mainly because, well, I kind of want to win some money. I don't want to deal with anybody else right here. So here we are. We're going to be swimming. And we're going to be using quite a few repels because, well, yeah, tentacles. Uh, they're very pesky. They're the radatas of the water and all that crud. So, like I said, I'm going to be battling. Uh, I'm going to be speed battling all these guys right here just because I kind of want to win some money. And, well, as you can see, killing everybody. Don't want to use all the. Yeah, I do not want to use everything because, well, you know, these legendary Pokemons, uh, they're, they're no joke when you actually battle them right here. So there we go. We defeated a Speedo Torpedo. Get some money right there. And, well, just like that, we can actually battle those guys. But, I, again, I do not want to waste my time battling people and wasting my PP right here. So there we go. There's another person wanting to battle us. And it's a Speedo Torpedo. There's another Thunderbolt. And, well, we got a Cloyster coming out, so let's see. Let's go with Godzilla, Godzilla. And Flamethrower for the win. There we go. We get some points and more money right there. Do not know where they put that Pokemon money for the Mr. Speedo Torpedoes. But I, yeah, I do not want to know. So, here we are in the Seafoam Islands. And, well, that is actually our destination. But we need to go right here in order to get to that other area right here. So, here we are in the Seafoam Islands. Again, make sure to have a Pokemon that knows Surf and Strength because you're going to need that. Okay, so what was going to happen is Terramon's going to be using some Strength right here. And there we go, pushing these guys right here. Going to go downstairs. Now these rocks are going to lead to an area where there's a, there's a heavy current. And your goal is to articuno slow down the current to actually get to Articuno now. The goal right here is to get to everything because there will be some items that you can actually get. And well, there we go. Pushing that down. That is two rocks. And we're going to be going down here. And the rock landed right there. So let's go right ahead and let's go right ahead and use Terramon. Now, my biggest issue is that every room we have to go back and, you know, press the, the whole uh, strength technique and all that crud. Do not like that, but again, do not go through that hole because uh, you're going to be led through some uh, somewhere else. Just make sure to get both holes down right here. So let's go right here. And as you can see, I think we are in the right room. Now, some of the Pokemon you can actually find right here, I think you can, you can, no, Psyduck don't, they don't belong here, but Shelder, uh, Shelder, Dugongs, not Dugongs, I mean, uh, what was it? Seal? Yeah, Seal is another Pokemon you can actually find here. Um, hell. A lot of Ice type Pokemon. Another Pokemon you can actually find, you could, you know, would have been a good suggestion is, uh, what was it? What's his name? Uh, Lapras, but you get it in the lab, and if you go down here, this will actually take you to this area right here. And I do not know where that's at, but I think. There's a rock. Oh, yeah, there's a rock right there. Okay, so we got to go around. Yeah, again, make sure to bring a lot of repels and crap baskets. We went the wrong way. Now, this is the area right here where you can actually... Where you can actually uh, stop the current for the area where Articuno is at. So, what might do, what's going to happen is... I'm going to be pressing these uh, boulders around right here. And there we go. 
very simple. Going down here. Look at that. Pushing this little sucker right here. And make sure not to mess up on that one because you need two boulders to actually stop the current. And remember, the goal is to actually stop all current. So we'll, we'll get back to Articuno in just a little bit. Now we actually have to go through this whole area right here. And let's see. I think you can actually find something right here. Like, you can find a few items. Let's see. Surf, surf technique. And yeah. Okay, so the current is literally taking us to the other room. I'm not even moving this around. But if you go right here, you will find yourself an Ultra Ball. And... Let's see, Torpedo, Speedo Torpedo, where are we now? I think we are in the Articuno room. Yeah, this is the Articuno room, so... Yeah, we're gonna have to stay away from that, and that's the wrong place. Let's go ahead and use another Repel. Again, make sure to bring a lot of, uh, a lot of Pokeballs, guys, because... For some odd reason, Pokeballs are the things that work... Actually, hold on. Yeah, Pokeballs are the, are the Pokeballs that, that work right here. Regular old Pokeballs. I do not know if you guys know the explanation to that whole thing. Comment down below. I would like to hear that theory out. And well, as you can see, here's the Articuno room. Articuno's up there. But the goal for us is to actually find the other boulder because we need to stop all currents right here. So we're going to go back up here and find our way around this. The other boulder's right there. That's the last boulder we need to actually find. So, let's see. Right over there, I think. Probably. I don't know. Let's see. Right here. And... Nope, that is actually... Okay, so I could be wrong. It's probably the, <laughs> the one on the back side right here. Let's see. And... Well, oh, okay, okay. Look at that. Yes, we are... In the back side right here, okay. So, let's use Terramon yet again. And there we go. The boulder has been thrown in. And the currents have been stopped. So we can move freely right here. And we're going to be going into this area. This is actually the area where you can actually get out. Get out of the Seafoam Islands and all that. As you can see, here's the exit. And... Bam, you are in the other side, but that is not our goal. Well, that was our, actually our goal to to stop the current and then actually go capture Articuno. So now, it's finally time for us to go capture Articuno. And let's see, now that we can do that, not Terramon. I think Terramon can actually learn Surf or something right here. And let's see, this is, what room is this? Oh, yeah. Okay, so... Yes, we are in the room where we can actually... Yeah, we can actually get to Articuno's room pretty quickly right here. So, let's go do that. And... Well, let's just jump into these holes right here. And bam! Here we are in the Articuno room. And Articuno's right here waiting for us for quite some time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to save the game because, well, Articuno is a... Uh, well, you guys already know, Articuno is a, is a pretty good Pokemon right here. So, let's go right ahead and try and capture this Pokemon. Oh my god. Let's go. Pressing that button. Okay, guys, so here is our very first legendary Pokemon, and that is Articuno, the legendary ice and bird type, or ice and flying type Pokemon. If you guys may have remembered in... Uh, Walkthroughs pass. Articuno happens to be the the worst Pokemon for me because, well, it will not die or it will not be captured or anything. I don't know. It, it's probably like, I don't know. It just does this on purpose to get me all mad. And the goal right here is to actually get it all paralyzed. And, well, as you can see, it does have Ice Beam. And that move is going to make us uh, pay right here. So what's going to happen now... Let's see... Let's go with Double Team. I want to mess with Articuno just a little bit right here. And Crap Baskets. Okay, so that Ice Beam is going to mess up with uh, Aaliyah right here. So now that Articuno is paralyzed, let's go right ahead and go for a Pokemon that it will not affect. 
like Torpedo right here, since, you know, Torpedo's not really... It's not really a, uh... An, well, it's not really a, a Dragon-type Pokemon, per se. So let's see what the Surf Attack can do. Come on, baby. Like I said, most of my Pokemon are at level 50s, so this will actually help us out just a little bit. And, yes, that Ice Beam Attack is going to be big right here. So what's going to happen now is I'm going to have to try and up the evasiveness right here because I do not want Articuno to beat us like that. So there we go. Torpedo seems to be the the Pokemon that actually helps him the most. And well, here we go again. The double team. Yeah, this Ice Beam attack is not going to hit us at all, especially that Peck attack. So there we go. Double team has been gone up and that Peck attack has missed. So let's go ahead and start throwing some Pokeballs. Now, the weird thing is that you miss this Pokemon quite a few times. As you can see, you miss. I don't know, it's gonna take quite a few times. I don't know why. But there's another one. There we go. Throw another Pokeball. That's three. And that Peck Attack's finally hit us. So there we go. Pokeball go. That's another one. Ice Beam will not hit us. Thank you, Jeebus. And there's another one. Five. Come on! Six, there we go. So after six Pokeballs, bam, we have caught ourselves Articuno. Look at that, okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at this Pokemon, Articuno, the freeze Pokemon. A legendary bird Pokemon, it freezes water that it is contained or that it contained in the winter air and makes it snow. And yes, we are not giving this Pokemon a nickname at all. So there goes our Pikachu. Let's go ahead and revive Pikachu because uh, Aaliyah wouldn't be happy if we just left it fainting or something like that. So there you go, guys. We have captured Articuno after how many Pokeballs? After six Pokeballs. Okay, so that right there is uh, that that right there is pretty cool. Very awesome right there. So now it's time for us to get the heck out of here. So let's go right ahead and do that. While I'm doing it, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and talk about the future. The future of this walkthrough right here so we are very close to getting done with this whole walkthrough here guys um yeah i have had a a lot of fun just actually playing this walkthrough for you guys um redoing it and uh, you know i hope you guys lo loved watching it and all that stuff maybe hopefully it's probably one of like the top walkthroughs that you watched or pokemon yellow walkthroughs and all that stuff uh the next walkthrough that we're going to be doing is pokemon crystal and that right there is going to be well the majority of the pokemon that we're going to be using there is going to be the same and i th think yeah we're going to be using some yeah we're going to be for the pokemon team like i said guys we're going to be using some native pokemon because that's kind of how I want to do it. Other Pokemon might not be native, but will eventually become native of, uh, of this of the Johto region and all that stuff. But that is one little preview of what is going to happen when we play Pokemon Crystal. So in the next episode, guys, we will be going to the power plant to go capture Zapdos. So stay tuned, guys. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Yellow walkthrough. If you guys haven't subscribed or hit the notification button, hit those things right now. And if you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, there it is. The link is uh, down there on the description below. I will see you guys in the next one when we capture Zappos. See you guys.